Uh, just playing around with some stuff. Um, trying to figure out how to get this like lion's head into ZBrush to start sculpting a little bit more. Um, so I have smoothing groups on it. It's pretty decent. Um, I imagine what I'd probably do is um, turn off turbo smooth on here. See if I select these all. All right, got all the pieces I want. See what happens if I just export with a uh, OPJ. Alright, let's go into ZBrush. Let's Im import this. Oh no, that's not what I want to do. Um, I want to go to, s no, not Subtool Master, Create Groups. So now I want to import Increase Smoothing Groups. Um, so Create New. Nice. Looks like I got all this. Let's see if we subdivide it. It's all in. And start sculpting on this now. Let's actually bring in these parts as well. Let's bring in the base. Insert a uh, poly mesh 3D. Nice. This is pretty awesome. Um, can subdivide this, maintains the smoothing, and uh, I can start working from this in ZBrush now, um, which will be super helpful. Uh, one last test that I usually like to do is um, let's export this again. Um, let's do a temp ZB, and then let's uh, create a layer. Interesting. All right, let's try like that. I'm curious why this scale is like that. Hopefully, that doesn't mess anything up. May have to um, undo that. No, oh, all right, cool. So I wonder. Uh, why the scale factor ended up like this. Um, let's just save this for a second.
and this is just something I like to do before I get too far into a project. Um, it's always good to see how ZBrush is handling your uh, work. Um, yes, because it's the last thing you want when you bring in something and it uh, comes in like that. Um, so I'm curious if I create a box, center it, uh, freeze transforms and rotations. I'm going to export this one as temp. Um, going to ins insert a uh, polymesh 3D, or um, that's fine. And now I'm going to import with my import settings default. I'm going to import this temp object. Cool, it's actually much larger. Um, I think when I export this, this should work fine now. Let's see. Yep, same exact one. Um, now I believe if I... Let's just try with the head real quick. There we go. So now just bringing in that box and uh, getting ZBrush set up. Um, now this back and forth works with uh, this all zero, with this all set up like that, which uh, is a uh, much better way to work than uh, having custom import and uh, export settings that will most likely break at some point.